आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ Hi everyone. So we are given with a question which says we need to answer the following. First is we need to name the electromagnetic waves which are used for the treatment of certain forms of cancer. Also we need to write the frequency range. In the second part we are interested in finding the reason for thin ozone layer on top of stratosphere is crucial for human survival. Why? and third part says why is the amount of momentum transferred by the electromagnetic waves incident on the surface so small so let's begin with the first part of the question that is a part in this uh, we have to name the electromagnetic wave so we know there are uh, various types of electromagnetic waves that is infrared waves and uh, radio waves gamma waves etc so in this we can say gamma rays and x rays these are two rays uh, which are of very high frequency so the range of uh, gamma rays frequency range of gamma rays is of the order 10 raised to 20 hertz and as that of x ray it is of the order 10 raised to 18 hertz all right so these are the orders of uh, gamma rays and x rays and these are the type of electromagnetic waves of very high frequency range so uh, due to their high frequency range they are uh, used to kill so we can say the purpose of this both the rays can be to kill the growth of cancerous cell or we can say to kill cancerous cells and thus we can say it is used in the treatment of cancer all right so this is the first part of the question now let's move on to the second part so for b part of the question it says uh we need to find uh, the reason why is ozone layer crucial for human survival so we know uh, rays of light coming from sun rays of light coming from sun has ultraviolet radiation that is we can say it has to be uv rays which are very harmful for human and they causes uh, this uv rays causes cancer so we can say due to this uv rays it is cancerous in nature so there is a shield present above stratosphere that is known as ozone layer and this ozone layer uh, absorbs this ozone layer we can say it absorbs this uv rays and thus save us or we can say save humans from getting exposed to uv rays and from and thus we can say it protects human survival on earth so now let's move on to the final part of the question that is why is the amount of momentum transferred by electromagnetic wave so small so we know about momentum transferred we can write momentum transferred that is p is given by the formula h by lambda where h is the planck's constant lambda is a wavelength of light or electromagnetic wave in this case so if we multiply uh, with frequency above that is nu and below that is nu lambda so the momentum can be written as h nu is nothing but it is energy of light that is e and new lambda can be written as c that is speed of light so from here we can say therefore uh, the value c we can write since c that is speed of light or velocity of light we can say is very high of the order we can say 10 to 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second so we can say the value of momentum transferred will be the value of p will be small all right so this is the reason we can say momentum transfer for electromagnetic wave is small so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching 
क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ से लेकर नीट आई आई टी जे मेन्स और एडवांस के लेवल तक दस मिलियन से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट्स का भरोसा आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर